Okay guys, so as you saw, we have a fire going over there in the background. Tonight, we're going to use these little pie irons. They call them uh, camp cookers. I've just always known them as pie irons. So, pre-seasoned. Okay, we got two of them. We're going to be making apple pie little tiny apple pies and hopefully these are diced but they don't look like it I like the guy. and what what you do is we got some bread over here what you do is put a piece of bread in put your pie filling in put another piece of bread on it close it and you toast it over the over the fire and so all you, that's all you do, and you make your little pies. So let's go ahead and we got these at Walmart a couple years ago. How much were they? Do you remember? No, I don't. wasn't very much. No. All right, I'm opening these up here. Um. Uh, like them handles ain't they're not one screwed in further than the other but oh well and it's got a little thing on the end to hold them together i may have to go get my light here shortly let me screw this on here a little bit farther a little bit better Yeah, that's better. Just like that. Whoops. So now, whoops. I'm going to take this off here. Just going to cut it. Just like that. And it also has a little hook here. Hook that like that, and then what you do? Oh, the little little buckler here. Instructions and recipes. Cool, we got recipes. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> and then I opened it up and it was upside down. Okay, so all right, but I already know how to use that. But I'll keep that for recipes. But you just put a piece of bread in here. Um. I usually spray mine down. You can just butter your bread first, but this is easier like if you're out camping or something. Put a piece of bread in there. Put you some topping in. Cherry, peach, apple, whatever you want. Put another piece of bread on top and close them up. I'll show you guys that here in a minute. I'm going to go make sure we got a, a good fire ready for this. And then I'll kick it back on. I was going to tell spooky story time tonight, but I thought... Well, you know, it's that time of year, people's having campfires, let's do this. So, which we was going to do anyway. So, alright. Now I'm going to head over there. It's a lot darker out here than what it shows in the camera. Come around here, check this out. <laughs> this camera's amazing. Look how light it is. In there. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. You think yeah. it's, oh, my God, it's getting darker and darker. Yeah, I was going to go get my light, and then I looked in here. I was like, this will be all right. I'll, I will go get my light here in just a second, though. Oh, now, hang tight, guys. We're I'm going to get a fire going right here on this end. That's just a brush pile we burn out. So I'm just letting that end burn off. And then I got some wood over here. I'm going to throw on here. And when it gets ready, what I usually do is, like, you can hold it over a fire. But what I usually do is like to get the fire down to some coals and then I stick it in the coals and turn it every so often. Then you can open it up and look and see if it's done. So that's what I do. But you can hold it over the fire, but sometimes it gets too hot that way. Okay guys, so here's what we're gonna do. I'll show you this. Monk, you wanna get two pieces of bread out? Alright. Okay, make sure you got check check. Alright. They do come apart too, so. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to tell them that a minute ago. What's the, why did they come apart? 
for ease of cleaning. Oh. Because that would suck trying to clean them with them together. Alright. See, so you take them apart and you just clean it like a spatula or whatever. Okay. Alright. Just a little bit. Looks like a lot, but it's not. Okay, so I'm going to put. Oh, that's not the square bread. <laughs> I usually have square bread, but we had to try something different because it was going moldy in like two days. Well, also, we're limited at the store right now. Oh, okay. But square bread works better, guys. Now, I've never used this with, uh, um, what's that stuff called? Like a stuff in a can. You can get, like, pie. Pie. Really? Pie crust. This is pie filling. crust. Oh, you mean the Pillsbury kind? Yeah, of like I've never stuff? tried that. Oh yeah. And I suppose it'd work. Well, these aren't too big, so that's all right. But yeah, we're kind of limited in our little town right now because they they can put in orders, but that don't mean they're going to get them. They'll 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 send stuff to the bigger cities before they will us. Which I think it should be first come first serve, if you ask me. But right. you know. Alright, now, so stay tuned guys, I'm going to be doing once a week starting probably Saturday, maybe Sunday, once a week until Halloween, I'm going to be doing scary story time, where we're going to go out, maybe even in the backyard, but we're going to go somewhere at night and tell scary stories. They're not going to be real, they're all going to be fabricated by me. You're the fabricator. I am a fabricator. Hey, you're right, I am. Then you just squeeze this down. Squeeze it. And then you clip your handle over here, like that. Uh, you're handing <laughs> it to me. She, 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 calm down. She's grabbing. She's ready. Yeah, the square bread works a lot better, but that's okay. We can't get it, so... All right, so I'm going to clip this on here. I'm going to get another one, then we'll take you over and show you in the fire what you do. It's, I mean, you know, it's just like kind of like cooking a hot dog, really. Okay, guys, now all you do, you just, there's still some flames here, but I like to use coals. Just stick it in the coals, a couple minutes, turn it, a couple minutes, and then you can open it and check it. So, um, yeah, that's all you do. Once they, once the, your irons get get heated up, it doesn't take that long. So you can make grilled cheeses and stuff. Use any kind of filling you want. And then I just usually about that long. Then I'll flip it and I'll do that like two times. And I'll check it because some people like their crust more done than others. So all right, um, I'm going to go ahead and move you so monkey can get in here and. We'll see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, guys, so mine's done. And you just go, like she asked me how long. It just depends on your fire, how hot your fire is and everything. But just keep an eye on it. There's mine. So I'm going to take you over to the table. And I'm going to put this on a plate. And we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, so we got our paper plate there. Let's go ahead and flip our veil. Also, you take you can take that off. And there you go. Look at that. Uh, woo, hot. I forgot to bring out the convection sugar. Yeah. All right. Now, when Monkey gets hers done, like I said, as dark or as light as you want it, when Monkey gets hers done, we'll, uh, bring it over here and she can open hers up okay guys here's monkeys now take your handle off hmm. okay. now just flip it and it'll fall right out there you go these edges that one I didn't get real good but this one got pretty good you just cut your edges off and whatever so there you go uh, I think she's wanting powdered sugar on hers, so 
she's going to go get that and we'll put some powdered sugar on these and then I'll make her mom one and we'll give her mom one okay so now not everybody's going to carry one of these with them but some people do so I'm just going to set that on right here like this cover the holes up there you go Cute. oh she can't see it she wants more so but you get the idea yeah it's cute you're not supposed to have a lot of sugar anyway there you go no. there's yours and while she's eating hers i will make her mom's i pulled the crust off for you oh thank you where in the heck did I just put that oh it's in here since I'm not diabetic I'm gonna load up <laughs> <laughs> just to make it you know cute for the kids or whatever when you're at home but there we go all right now I'm gonna make her mom's and um, well uh, we'll get her trying it out see what you think of it spoon or fork yep. where are you going to right here yeah yeah we can do it right here okay brady brady all right and if you let them cool you can eat them with your you just pick it up and eat it like a sandwich yeah yeah and also put ice cream on these mm. but everything tastes better with campfire over over with cast iron over a campfire because when you open that up to check it or if you're cooking something over a campfire and you open it up that smoke gets in there gives it that flavor what do you think mama very good very nice very nice mm -hmm. all right very all right i'm gonna make her mom's and then i'll be back with you guys okay guys so there you go there's your little mini personal pies yep like i said use whatever filling you want homemade filling is even better huh yeah uh, what we forgot, and we mm -hmm. have some in there with cinnamon. Yeah, I put some cinnamon on it. If I but if you make it. your, yeah, if you make your own, I'm sure you'll put cinnamon in your filling. Kept but sitting there thinking, what's but, missing? And but um, yeah, so just put your filling on, sprinkle a little cinnamon on there, yeah. or whatever other spices. Yeah, pumpkin, make it your own. You can make pumpkin pies. Yeah, you could do that. You can that. make pumpkin pies this time of year. There mm -hmm. you go. That would Add be a fun. Pumpkin pie spice on it. Mm -hmm. We may do that. Oh, that'd be fun yeah just get the instant well you can make your own of course but mm -hmm. you can get just the instant in the can yeah. and put it on there add a little pumpkin pie spice cook it up and there you go uh so yeah this wasn't going to be um story time but i, I do have a story for you <laughs> one of monkey monkeys got these uh solar powered lights out here no well, two of them quit working that one was working last night the other one didn't come on tonight so she's got one over there that didn't come on and she said why is this not coming on i said probably the battery she said they don't have battery i said well, how they work she said it's solar i said well how's it work at night she said the sun charges it all day i said charges what and she goes the, the battery <laughs> i didn't know there was batteries in the dang thing well, how do you think they work there's no sun the out sun at night. The sun beamed on those little things on the top, and there you go. You have light. In the daytime, yeah. Yeah, during the day and at night, then your light comes on. Yeah, because it has to have some kind of electric for it to work. I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> True story. It happened, didn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, guys, so we got some more videos coming up. Some. We're not sure what we're going to do for Halloween yet. We wanted to do a live stream, was it last year on the boat? Ended up doing it on the boat, but out in the front yard. Yeah. Was that last year? Yeah, I think it was, yeah. Some reason we couldn't get the boat out. We didn't take the boat out for some reason. I don't remember. I forget why. But maybe we'll do something like that. But so, you know, about once a week, maybe even more, it just depends. We'll go, you know, maybe down to the river. We want to go boating and fishing. Yeah, but, but once a week until yeah so. until halloween maybe go out here at the river the boat ramp mm -hmm. 
one night I want to hike back in. She don't want to go with me on that one because of the bear thing that happened a few years ago. But that's okay. I will. And we'll go back there. You're going to go by yourself? If you, say, you said you wasn't going to do that. No, I don't think I trust <laughs> that bear. I'm sure he's gone by now. Well, I'm gonna sit that there. That was like wait, four wait. years ago. You're gonna be. How are you gonna get hold of me if you, a bear attacks you? Well, if a bear attacks me, I'm probably not gonna be able to get a hold of you anyway. Well, it's all right because people camp out there. They walk up and down that road. It's not a big deal. I'll be talking and stuff. So anyway, so stay tuned for them, and we'll see you in the next one. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it, Monkey. I can like so out for now. Bye, y'all. Monkey uploaded a cool video today. Yeah. Spoiler alert. She put. What's it called? A runner down outside? Yeah. So, looks pretty nice. So, check her out. And we'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth of Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye, y'all. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Uh, you know, hopefully any of these solar things don't run out of sun at night. They'll stay on. Take care, guys. <laughs>